It has been said, there are far too many silent sufferers. Not because they don't yearn to reach out, but because they've tried and found no one who cares. And it has been concluded that religion is the sigh of the oppressed creature, the heart of a heartless world, and the soul of soulless conditions. Religion is the opium of the people. But Jesus said, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly, and I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And he has been building his church for 2,000 years, a people for his own possession, a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, to proclaim the excellencies of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. We exist to glorify God through the true worship of him, through the building up of his people, and through the evangelization of the world. So in our recreation of this space, we are aiming to grasp a sense of the transcendent, to see God for who he really is in the miracles of the conversion and baptism of his people and the building up of the body of believers in love so that we are transformed by what we see. To hear from God through the proclamation of his word so that we are transformed by what we hear. To raise our voices in praise and thanksgiving and lament to the God who sees and hears because he cares so that we are transformed by what we sing. So when we recreate our decor and staging, we are creating a warm and inviting space with a sense of the divine so that all who enter for a worship service, a celebration of marriage or a celebration of life, a training conference, a team event, or even a community event like a school graduation, that all who enter would leave with a sense of the welcome and the wonder that comes from God's presence. When we reposition and outfit our new sound booth, new sound system, video, lighting, and projection ministries, we are positioning and outfitting whoever walks through the doors to hear and see the living and active Word of God that comforts and convicts, that breaks, that heals, that transforms us into the image of Jesus Christ. We are positioning and outfitting whoever walks through the doors to hear and see the testimonies of life transformation of God's people by God's power. And when we raise the ceiling, we are more than just raising the roof. We're actually realizing the fulfillment of a hope of those who have gone before us. A hope for a larger worship space with a resonance that will in some small way imitate the very throne room of heaven where our praise can rise from living sacrifices and the name of Jesus Christ can echo and reverberate into the heavenly places. And perhaps we are resonating with the friends of the lame man from Mark 2, recognizing that sometimes to help people see Jesus, we may need to move a roof. When we push back these walls to make room for more seats and more accessibility for those who may otherwise have difficulty, we are making more room for the gathered worship of our great God and Savior. We are making more room for more events to equip one another for the work of ministry. We are making more room for more people to sit under the apostles' teaching, more room for more people to fellowship, more room for more people to pray, more room for more to come to the communion table to receive God's grace and to proclaim Christ's death until he comes. When we push back these walls to make room for more seats, we are making more room for the fruit of a church that reaches out to tear down walls, to tear down the kind of walls that hide lost children from our Father. We are on mission. We are on mission with Jesus to turn broken people into whole people who multiply Christ's followers to find the silent sufferers, the oppressed creatures who sigh under the burden of sin and introduce them to the Holy One who sees, to the healing one who cares. So church, we need to pray. Pray that God will move us to use this space to bring him glory through pleasing worship, through our church building itself up in Christ, in love, and through our church bringing the good news of Jesus to our communities, to our city, to our world. 
It has been said that the chief end of humankind is to glorify God by enjoying Him forever. We are His.